I'm, I'm worried what you think of me. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed with image. I think uh, as an industry, we're, we're good at obsessing on image. And, uh, and what do people think of us? This is a project that we did for Urban Ministries of Durham, which is a local homeless shelter in, in Durham, North Carolina. Uh, this isn't the, the project that I'm presenting today, but this is what led us to the project that I'm presenting today. Uh, I'm worried what Re Inamoto is going to think that I'm going to play uh, a formulaic uh, case study video. Um, but when, when that obsession with image is applied to a brand, really, uh, UMD is a brand, uh, they don't think of themselves as a brand. They help people. They help a dad who can't feed his kids to feed them, and uh, they, they give people with no place to sleep some place to, to uh, get back on their feet. Um, I, I worry, and I think, I think we all worry as an industry, uh, if we do charity work, uh, what is that going to say about us? What is it going to say if, you know, if we're standing on stage talking about charity work we did, um, you know, next to, to projects like Rolex uh, and Amex, who, uh, you know, clients pay us millions and millions of dollars to do our best work for them. So we worry that coming up here and talking about a local homeless shelter is, is going to say something about us. Uh, and it's paralyzing, and, and a lot of times I think it stops us from applying what we're good at to, to projects like this. Names are powerful. That's why brands spend millions to name stadiums, and why college alumni pay thousands to associate their name with their alma mater. If a college campus can sell naming rights to a bench or a brick, why can't a homeless shelter sell naming rights to a tampon, a pair of fresh socks, or a box of macaroni and cheese? At namesforchange.org, Urban Ministries of Durham is selling the naming rights to every item in their shelter, each one the kind of thing you might take for granted until you don't have it. No matter how, how insignificant those little things seem, having that connection with a thing that you know is doing good over there I think can be powerful. Philanthropists who donate get a customized poster, immortalizing their connection to UMD. In less than eight weeks, more than 70,000 visitors from 161 countries have named more than 1,100 items and donated over $40,000, all to a local homeless shelter in Durham, North Carolina. Now the only question is, what will you lend your name to? So I, I would challenge you to not, not be paralyzed by that worry of what people are going to think of, of what, uh, what you may apply to something that, that doesn't pay real well.